Two days ago, I decided to make a fresh hardcore Iron Man, and to kick things off right, I played it for 24 hours straight. This video is going to show you some of the progress that I made in that time. I started out by doing Cook's Assistant, it just seemed like a good way to start. Next I moved on to Chickens, I stayed here so that I would have some feathers to fish with, until about 10 attack and 10 strength. I wanted to get fishing up so that I could have food but I realized that fishing shrimps was really really slow so I only got to about 10 fishing here and then gave up pretty quickly. The stronghold of security gives you 10,000 coins for finishing it plus those boots so I decided to go here. Next I did a little questing. We did Restless Ghost and got Rune Mystery started. After that I just went and trained at Cows for a bit. Ah, oh, beautiful dude. I wanted to get more HP so that I wouldn't be at risk of dying. So I went to Witch's house. Somebody told me that you could pretty easily save spot this final boss here. So it was a pretty easy way to get some HP XP. I wanted to do Grand Tree, so I had to get 25 agility. And this took pretty close to an hour. Big phone is bad. Nothing seems to fit. Those rain pumps are falling on and here we are getting 25. Thank goodness, because this shit took way too long. While I was doing the Tree Gnome Village, I actually had a pretty close call with these Jogers. I wasn't paying attention, and this one got a couple good hits on me. Luckily, I managed to eat and get away. That would have been a pretty quick rip. Here we are finishing Gnome Stronghold. 18,000 attack XP, not too bad, really. I'm pretty sure it got me close to about 40 attack. Now I'm just here stealing some cakes. I knew I wanted to do waterfall next, so I figured I should have some food that was a bit better than chickens. I also stole some silk while I was here. You can make about 60 coins each stealing these. Okay, this was actually pretty damn close. I let this moss giant here hit me, and it was only a 12. Luckily not like a 20 or something. Now we finish the waterfall quest. Uh, this quest goes up Pretty damn good reward. Yeah, it's almost 14,000 attack and strength XP. And these mithril seeds sold for quite a bit of money at a shop, which I also spent on runes. Next I went and camped fire giants for a bit. I was hoping to get a rune simi, but somebody told me about this other place here at ZMI where you can go and kill this Samurak warrior. And I actually got a rune simi pretty quickly. Ruin Simi, dude. No fucking way. Already, man. That was so fast. I wanted to kill some druids for herbs, but there was no way I could do this in the wild. And I got to this door and it told me I needed 46 thieving. So to get this, I went and did the feud quest. This didn't really take too long. It was actually kind of fun. And at the end of it, I got 15,000 thieving XP. Which was almost enough to make so that I could pickpocket master farmers. I tried to get the rest of the thieving levels by pickpocketing ham guards, and I kept getting caught, so I switched to this master farmer, and I found that I just kept getting caught here too, which was really obnoxious, so I decided to find another way. I end up doing the Prince Ali rescue quest, so that I could do this sorcerer's garden mini game here. This was actually quite a bit of fun. Um, I got, I think, 19 farming just from picking the fruit, and I was able to get 46 thieving, which is what I needed for that door. Next up, I decided to grind out 33 agility, and the only reason that I went for this is because of that log in Ardoin. By doing this, it would make uh, grinding all those herbs from druids quite a bit faster. It was definitely worth it, because I ended up camping these guys for probably close to two hours. After Druids, I went and trained my mage for a little bit at Hill Giants. I actually ended up getting one of these giant keys. Next, I'm mining some essence. I was doing this so that I could do the Priest in Peril quest, which lets me go into Mauritania. 
Here I am grinding some bones. I wanted to do Ghosts Ahoy, and you need 35 Ecto tokens. This quest actually, it took quite a while. There were a lot of materials to gather, and a lot of walking involved. We got Prayer XP. I wanted to do Dorix quest for mining XP. There is you need iron ore, so I ended up camping these dwarves for about 30 minutes to get to iron ore. And then I turned in the quest, which is some pretty easy mining XP. I actually ended up having to go back to these dwarves. I needed this iron bar, and the reason for that was so that I could do the knight's sword quest. I wanted to kill the last 15 minutes of the stream, so I just camped this lesser demon, and I ended up getting this rune med, which was a good way to end it.